Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do sort of a sit down, do my makeup video again. Um, to be honest, I feel like I'm just running out of things to um, do, but I thought to keep myself entertained and give me something to do, I thought, let's get up, let's do a video and let's make ourselves look half decent because I don't know about you guys but I just I'm just swabbing around and I can't even bother getting dressed most of the time but it's nice just get changed out of your pajamas get into something comfortable um and yeah um I haven't been on um YouTube for a while I haven't done a video for a while um I haven't been feeling too good to be honest I've been pretty poorly so it's nice to be feeling better and um getting back to it so that's what i'm gonna be doing today i don't have a clue what i want to do something a bit different um and obviously while we're at home i thought why not try and play with some makeup and do something a bit different um i always stick to like the same shade so orangey browny shade so i thought let's mix it up and let's do something a little bit different so how are you all doing how is lockdown treating you um it's it's so tough trying to keep your brain occupied of what to do i mean i keep getting the paintbrush out and the paint and just painting places um so yeah that's pretty much what i'm doing at the moment it's not um anything crazy but it's something to do we've got a shed coming this week as well so that'll give us something to do so we're going to be moving everything in the storage cupboard downstairs and getting it moved outside so we've got a bit more storage in the house so that'll be something to look forward to and do. So I'm gonna do a bit of a bright look, I think. It's a nice day outside um, and I thought I'd mix it up. I've got this um, going out palette, which you'll have probably seen in my last video when I was doing the clean out video. Also when I was doing the um, clear out um, and organization video, I believe that was my last video. Um, I meant to do part two. Um, and obviously because I fell ill and stuff I didn't manage to do it so I have sorted that out I've already tidied it all so I've sorted my palette drawer out I sorted underneath as well I've also done a bit of a change around my bedroom um, so yeah everything is good alright guys so I've just pinned my hair back so <laughs> my husband side the side of me watching me which is amazing Anyway, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some concealer. So I'm just going to use this Makeup Revolution concealer just to prime my eyes. I'll actually bring you in a bit closer. Just like that. Don't even have my brushes ready. So good. I'm just going to use my brush just to blend that out. Right, so now all that is done, I've just been having a look through my palette to see what to actually do. So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to try and do like a pink glittery eye I think and then just wing it I think. I don't know, I hate winging it because I don't really know what to actually do. So I'm going to start off with a transition colour so I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. I'm going to take this light sort of bronzery shade. I'm just going to blend that through my crease just to give it a start. Does anyone else feel so weird not wearing makeup? I mean, I used to wear makeup all the time and then I sort of like stopped. But even like once a week at least like i used to wear it um obviously a lot more than that but when i went through a phase of not wearing makeup i wore it at least once a week and now i just don't even see a point in wearing it at all for being at home um to be honest, i can't wait for everything just to get back to normal um there was something actually 
um i saw in the news last night that i really want to talk about um which is it was on the six o'clock news and it was talking about america and them wanting to obviously come out of lockdown now as we all know we all see the news every day that america has the highest death rate um in all this crisis at the moment they've got the highest death rate it's over thirty thousand people that are dying um but yeah they want to come out of lockdown it honestly baffles me and i got really angry when i saw it on the news yesterday um because there's this one woman which i posted on facebook um saying bring california out of lockdown love we all want to come out of lockdown we don't want to all be stuck at home we don't want people to die either and you guys want to come out of lockdown and cause more deaths like i just i really don't understand the thought in it it's like they're the only country that are in lockdown um so it really really annoyed me um when i saw that and i don't really think the president is really doing much either which is even more annoying um but yeah that's my opinion on that i think it's very silly and very stupid and i don't think they should really televise things like that on our television if they want to come out of lockdown and if they're going to make that stupid decision to do that right now with the amount of deaths that they've got in their country then please do not televise it on english television because i just don't agree with it whatsoever all right i'm going to take this morphe um 35m boss mood palette this has got some pink shades in so excited that it's very colourful for the summer. It's really nice. So I'm going to use a few of these shades down here. I'm going to mix some of these together. Like berry shades. I'm going to make it look a bit more pink. I don't know if this light is not that good. Can you see that a bit better? that so i've just blended that out it looks a bit messy right now that looks very unblended it looks like there's a lot of product there but in real life it doesn't look too bad so anyway now i've just done all that in my crease i'm gonna go ahead and put obviously a base down so there's this pink in here should i use that that one right at the bottom it's not coming off very good on camera for some reason but it's a nice pink color so I might use that <laughs> right, so now I've done that so Blended that out as best I can. I'm just going to use this liquid um, eyeshadow. I can't think of the name then. Um, got this from Primark last year. You know, it's really nice. It's nice and glittery. So I'm using a gold shade, but then I'm going to stick some pink on top. Which I'll show you in a second. So I always feel like when you do a makeup look that's more flashy rather than I'm just gonna leave that to dry like that. Um rather than something that's a lot more simple, I feel like it just goes more tits up to be honest so i'm just going to use this barium fine glitter dust that's in like a pink shade mind my nails they are actually disgusting that's why i wear acrylic because it just looks like a absolute 
Yeah, I'm going to put this glitter on. This is very... Oh. Right, so now I've done that, I've blended that all in together as best as I can. Um, I'm just going to... I've put glow on my eyelashes so that's slowly, slowly drying. I'm just going to do my eyeliner and mascara. I'm just going to quickly curl my eyelashes first. natural light because you couldn't really see it with my face in that way so this is the eyes i'm still waiting for the glue to dry but i think it's turned out really nice nice and glittery nice and summery good for like a party or someone's birthday or something so thumbs up let's finish off the rest of the face all right what i'm gonna do now for the face i'm not gonna do it all on camera because this video will literally be an hour long um but i'm just gonna use the daily essentials 24 hour moisture express primer gel cream i really like this it's really good um and it's nice thin moisturizer when you don't want to wear something too thick so i used to use this going back it used to be in like a glass jar if anyone remembers it um i used to use it all the time when i used to go on holiday just as a light moisturizer so it makes your skin feel nice and fresh so i thought let's put on some of this before we whack on some foundation i feel like you get to this stage and you look like something out of lion king right so for a bit of a mix up i'm gonna use some liquid highlight drops so these are the nip and fab in white gold so I'm just going to use some of these. My lights just literally run out as well. So if it looks a bit different, the lighting, that is why. Just want a tiny bit on. I don't want anything crazy. Can you even see that? I'm not even sure. Whether you can tell on camera. tell a little bit more on this side but you can't really tell on camera than in real life but it does look good so i'm just bronzing up my skin sweep away the rest of powder under my eyes so it all blends in together nicely I feel like once you put glitter eyeshadow on glitter is on your face for days literally now I'm just gonna go in with this sleek blush um, this is in the shade Rose Gold. It's kind of a nice orangey, peachy shade. And it's got a bit of glitter now, as you can see. So I'm just going to use a bit of that on my cheeks. I don't want too much on. I feel like it's not too pink. 
take a look and see what we've got to build it up a bit. Don't you just love it when your eyelash decides to come off? And then last of all, I'm just going to use my Wem Wild highlighter. Just to go over that liquid highlight. So last of all is my lips. So I've done my um, highlight, I've done my scar. I'm just trying to think if I've just done anything off camera. No, I think that's everything. Um, Hello. Um, so I'm just going to do my lips. Like that. <laughs> and then... I might use a bit of a darker nude. Looks very vampy. Okay, that's lightened up a bit and then I'm just going to add a bit of gloss so I'm going to use my well interested number seven high shine gloss just like that and this makeup look is done so guys, I thought I'd come into a different lighting so you can see the makeup look a bit better. I think it turned out really good. Um, the lip colour really goes really nicely with the eye look. I really, really like it. Um, if you liked the video, please smash it thumbs up. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Um, if you've got any ideas, please leave comments down below. And until the next time. Hi guys.